I'm back. And that was a selection of songs from Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, on the Nintendo DS. Which, again, it's getting a uh, getting a remastered re-release uh, in June, at the end of June. I will not be here when it comes out, but I will be streaming that. That game is really good. Uh, my Switch just had an update. The system, apparently, updated to... Uh, uh, 16.0.1. Cool. We got a Game Boy update, actually. Let me see. Anything interesting going on there? Or is that just like a security thing? I'm gonna do... Yeah, one second. We'll get to final bar line. <laughs> nope, nothing new. Except Kirby 2 and Burger Time Deluxe. This was Burger Time Jr. No, it's Burger Time Deluxe. Okay, whatever. Uh, I will be doing Prime tomorrow. I'll be doing a Prime stream tomorrow. Again, uh, that that is the plan. <laughs> Friday, I probably will not be streaming. But hey, we're here. Burger time, yeah. It's always burger time for me. Laundry's been switched. Love Burb has been finished. And we are ready to start. Part 14 of Final Fantasy... Final bar, or theater rhythm final bar line, which, and I didn't plan it this way. It just happened. Tonight is going to be the Final Fantasy fourteen quest. So part fourteen and 14's quest. Prime rib remastered. Yes, I've been playing a Data East game yesterday. Nice. Which one? Side pocket. Alright, we back in it. Um, so, Karnov, Boogie Wings. Oh, nice. So, I've been doing a little, I've been doing a little work. Uh, as you can see, I've actually completed Final Fantasies 1 through 5 now. I've also completed Chocobo Dungeon and Crystal Chronicles. Um, I have a team. I had a feeling it was Karnov. Balloon. Finding the actual arcade ROM for Karnov is a pain. Oh, I can imagine. So this has been the setup that I've been rolling with. Um, Shantoto, Bluff, Play Rough, Ultima, Chocobo, Chocobo Dash, Aroga, Meltdown, Yuna, Grand Summoner, Boost, Mana Seed, and Spiritus with Talent, Wisdom, Ultima, and Mystic Aura. It's not the most ideal setup because, again, their stats aren't that great aside from Chocobo, who's almost maxed out now. Um, but... This is more or less the. This is more or less like one that can just cut through enemies quickly. Uh, it's very good for boss fights. Anything that requires specific elements, though, it, I still struggle with. So, might be going back to do these again. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time on stream going for quest completion. I'm going to try to make a pass at each one of them, but if I don't, then I'm just going to go back and, and do it later. And I keep Odin because summon damage plus 90, so he's doing double damage with this slash. <clears throat> also, I have the Tonberry with the knife, because why not? <laughs> the, the Google with the Tonberry costume. I did get the yellow Chocobo as well. Uh, dash around like a chirpy Chocobo. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Got this team going on too. This this team needs more Mystic Auras, which I don't have any. But I need if I put Mystic Auras on all of them, this team will pretty much rip through a lot of stuff too. And then there's my Summoner team, and... This team, th this was I was using for a very specific setup, for a very specific mission, uh, because this character can reduce trigger hits required for other abilities by 50%, and it's uh, that's pretty useful. But we're going to be sticking with set 3 for now, until I uh, need to switch it up. So anyway, we've got two series left, Theater Rhythm itself, and 14, and as I've mentioned multiple times, uh, we are doing 14 tonight. This is the longest single route in the game, because it includes uh, all expansions up to Shadowbringers. So we did one song last time, we did Primal Judgment, and now we're going to move on to Under the Weight. Which the sound balancing is good. As you can see, I've got a ton of growth eggs now because I'm not using them anymore. Uh, it kind of is worth it, because it'll get them the star levels quicker. Apparently the star levels 
If you get someone up to star nine, it, it, it's, it's like 450 each stat. So it makes you, it lets you save uh, a lot of stat growth items, even though at this point I've already blown all of them. So we're kind of, it kind of does not matter. Oh shit. Ah, ah, no. Allies deal half physical damage. Well, we, we're magic, so... Look how quickly I tore through that boss because I have so many abilities that activate when a boss appears only. the best, but not terrible. School rules, I got magic. What's this? Aw. Toxie, you didn't have to do that for me. Thank you. That was really nice of you. I was thinking about getting that on Switch at some point, but I'm gonna definitely get the Steam version now. Thank you so much. I'm gonna install that. Where is it? <laughs> Where'd it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to play that sometime. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. The Steam version is better. I do draw my friends for this game. Oh, nice. It's got Oh, right. It's got mods in it. I've seen I've seen a lot of people play it. I've seen I've seen a lot of duck game. Yeah, I guess I should get I should probably I should have probably not wanted it on Switch cuz Switch doesn't have online for it, does it? Whatever. Cool, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Can play up to eight players on PC. Oh, nice. Hey, Celine. So is the Sean Toto team working now? Not exactly. I have a workaround that I'm using, but it's not the it's not ideal. It's working the way it should, but technically it's not the way it should be. Steam's finished downloading it. Awesome. We'll definitely set up a playtime at some point. Maybe this weekend. I'm not going anywhere this weekend. Had a big donation? No. Uh. Okay, engage. Earn, earn, okay, this is easy street. Just earn a bunch of points. I'm gonna keep all this on. Actually, no, I'm gonna take it off. Keep this on. Okay. No, I mean, again, that, that charity link is still open until the end of the month for Starlight, but uh, no, I didn't get any big donation on stream. I don't have the tracker on either, so I wouldn't know unless someone told me directly.
Nice, double S. Uh, regarding... I haven't really mentioned this, but regarding the end of, um... Of, uh... Superstar Saga and doing another charity stream for that. Um... I kind of I kind of put it on hold due to me getting sick and and stuff that happened outside of streams and stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to move it. I was pro I was originally was probably gonna be this weekend. I'm gonna move it uh, back to next weekend because it would have been this weekend would have been two weeks since the charity stream. So ne so it would have probably been what this what was gonna be this weekend. I'm gonna move it back one weekend. Uh, first weekend in, in April, so April 2nd, will likely be the finale of Superstar Saga. And I'm going to look for another charity uh, to sponsor during that. Uh, but I figured that works out perfectly because then it lets the Starlight charity ride out the rest of a uh, March. And then after that, I'm, I'm going to be... This, the charity streams are going to be done for, a, for the foreseeable future. I'm not going to really have enough time to, to set anything else up. Not that I really did much to set the ones I had going up. <laughs> They were just there because I felt like doing a good thing. Fallen Angel. I heard lyrics in that one. Uh, Fallen Angel. Go for it. It's funny that we're like... We're like 10 song. We're 11 songs into this route. And, uh... I, we stopped hearing music I know about, like, three songs in. That's how little of 14 I have done so far. I already cleared the quest? What was the quest? Does it just get a chest? Nice. Just trying to make some sprites for Duck Game again. I would totally, uh... I would totally commission you for, for a custom sprite for it. Nice, I hit the experience cap. Same with, um... Same with the SBR2 cart. Or sorry, sorry, SRB2 cart. I always say SBR. Like Steel Ball Run. SRB. Oh, 10,000 or more damage. Well, there you go. That's how quickly I can clear those missions. Because I'm dealing that much damage in seconds. SRB2 sprite takes a lot of time. Oh, well, you know. 
just throwing that out there as an example. I mean, I would love to get sprites for everything at some point, but uh, I'm I'm good with whatever I'm willing, whatever I'm, is available to me, you know. Good King Moggle Mog the Twelfth. Clear without restoring HP. Uh, do I have any HP restoratives equipped? No, no, no. I don't see anything about HP or health. Nope. Okay. Just gotta make sure I don't equip any uh, any healing items. Triggers are judged more harshly. Oh boy. Halloween Town music over here. Not bad for the harsh judgment. This totally doesn't sound like this is Halloween. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right on the musical comparison, yeah. I feel like the very similar tones were taken there. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, Yoko Shimomura composed that one. Chocobo has hit star two. How does the, how have the other characters not hit star one yet? I don't need to be using both eggs because I'm hitting the experience cap with only a times eight. Ultima. Through the Maelstrom, defeat the boss Leviathan. Here we go, times two or times three minutes song. Yep.
And Leviathan beaten. Only got an S, but still good. Actually, the song was were, were Masayoshi Soken's doing. Ah, I only said that because I know Yoko Shimomura did all the Kingdom Hearts music, and I figured she's familiar with that type of melody. I got a Kuja card there too. The rewards for the missions are barely ever worth it, outside of the cho the Moogle costumes, because they're just the scene collector cards, or they're items that are, are easy to get. Defeat the boss ultimate weapon. Ooh, neck. Ooh, neck. People used to mock the music silliness amidst a sea of challenging raid mechanics, yeah. Wait, that's a raid? Oh my god. Really messed that part up.
Oh my god, I actually couldn't keep up with that. My brain was, like, not functioning, right? That sucks. Man, that's a long song, too. That spot in the middle just just got me. I don't know why. Probably could have taken down Ultima quicker too if I'd uh if I knew what I was doing. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Still only an S, not great, but I did it. Get a ton of collector cards by doing these two. By clearing a, a title, you get like another four. Light in the storm, earn two treasure chests, and oblivion defeat Shiva. I've played that one already in uh, multiplayer. And yeah, as I mentioned, I'm only doing this route tonight. Because it's, it's fitting for the 14th part to just be FF14. There's probably only one more stream of this left after this. The Deer to Rhythm route, and then I'm going to do some of the post-game on stream, but probably not a ton of it. Because there is one thing that unlocks once you've beaten all the quest modes. Not any more music, though.
Taco Bell. Weep. I could. I'm always down for Taco Bell. I could go for some Taco Bell right now. I said I could go for some Taco Bell right now. There we go. <clears throat> I had pizza tonight though. I had like good pizzeria pizza for the first time in, in months, really. After uh, after uh, after New Year's, I don't think we like we just stopped getting it. So I ordered it tonight because we were all really hungry and my mom did not want to cook. Oh, earn two or more chests. Okay. Well, still beat it. So I looked it up and counting, um, counting the DX version and all the DLC that's currently out, uh, there are 447 songs in this game. When the DLC is finished in October, there will be 502. So there's 50... 447, so there's 55 more songs being added to the game through DLC over the next uh, several months. That is a lot, and I've played over 400 of them. We're almost done. After this route, we've only got one more, and we're done. See, this song's good. This song and the next song I've already played because they've been played in multiplayer, so they unlock. I love that the bosses stay on screen for like seconds now because Chantal just nukes them. Magic Plus, I should be giving that to Shantoto, but I'm giving it to Chocobo because I just want to max his stats. Out. Actually, no, wait, his stats should be close to max now. I should check what Ch uh, Chocobo's stats are now that he got another star level. Um, uh, well. Not quite there yet. If anyone needs the Magic bu 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 buff, buff, it's, uh, it's honestly uh, Spiritus. Because his magic is not very high for someone who's magic-related.
HP is kind of low too. Let's buff that up a bit so I don't lose as quickly. There with Ishtola too, my party. Okay, so I have to change my party completely. Well, not completely, but I just have to put Ishtola too in here. I was using Ishtola 2 for something, and I can't remember what. She was in this party for a bit. This song's interesting. Again, I don't really know the context of it. I'm assuming it's a dungeon theme. It's uh, it's very discordant jazz. It gets uh, it gets rather freeform as you go through it. Also, I didn't realize the volume was so low. I turned it up a little bit. Part of a song, every song is either the intro of the game, a battle theme, a dungeon theme, or the ending theme with some chocobo and moogle music. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they with 14, just, they'll just keep adding more every time there's a new uh, expansion. Ominous prognostics. Defeat 11 or more enemies. We might be able to do that with our ideal party, ideal party set up here. Might. Hard, hard maybe. Oh, but we deal double damage. Okay, never mind. Might be a good time to uh, slap on the full, the full go here. I've played this song a few times in multiplayer, but I, I, I don't remember being good at it. There was a remix of this in Dissidia that we played last time.
Nice. They should just say beat the boss, because beating the boss requires beating 11 enemies beforehand. Judgment draws close. What's wrong? Come a little closer! That's another game I want to stream at some point, Star Fox. All three of the all three of the first three Star Fox games are on Switch. As in, as in, the first game, the the unreleased second game, and the third game. Defeat the boss, Knights of the Round. Love Star Fox 64, me too. Star I mean, Star Fox 64, let's be honest, that's how most people were introduced to the series. <coughs> I love it. I do have a soft spot for the later games, though. I loved Command on the DS, and I loved Assault on the on the, on the the GameCube. We're getting into Heaven's Ward now. Nice. This goes up to Shadowbringers, I know that. There's no Endwalker stuff, but... I wonder if the Shadowbringers theme is on here, so we can hear about the Rising Hole. Didn't hit that for some reason. Ah, oh, we couldn't take out two in the knights of the round. We couldn't take out twenty-four knights. Or, sorry, uh, twenty-six knights. Um. I was looking more into the original theater rhythm, and I forgot, I completely forgot about this, but the way characters worked in, in that game was that they all had AP ability points, and they can equip specific abilities, but they would take up a certain amount of points, and they can equip an item. But, if you used any items at all, and I think possibly any abilities, I can't remember, then you automatically took a 2 million point penalty on whatever, the, on whatever song you were on. Like, literally, if you if you used an item, it was literally impossible to get above 7.9 million. It, it, like, the game just wouldn't let you, the game would just wouldn't count, like, it would rebalance the score so that was the highest score possible. Which means you could never get above an S on, on anything if you used an item. Thankfully, they've completely changed that here. So we got Locust, Metal Brute Justice Mode, and ex Exponential Entropy. You sound really good. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Hit enemy weaknesses four more times. Because it says weak electricity, but that's only the boss. Meaning I need to be well balanced enough to have elements that hit everything. So I'm not going to be doing that quest now, probably. Do Locust? Okay. Clear with at least 60% HP, so I just got to not fuck up. But yeah, Theater Rhythm 1, Locus is from the Alexander Raid. Oh, interesting. A lot of the music that they're choosing for this are raid themes. I'm pretty sure Oblivion was, was also the raid theme.
I mean, everyone's favorite raid theme is here, so don't worry, we'll be getting that real soon. Only played o I've only played the OG Theater Rhythm, yeah. Me too. Me too, prior to this one. It was fun, but I tried going back to it a few weeks ago, and I, I could not play it after getting used to how this game plays. And Yuna's our first one, other than Chocobo, to get a level up to star. Cool. Well, I got a lot of good new cards here. If that 14 scares you, it's so big, it looks, yeah. I'm, I'm, I played a little bit of it a few months ago for the first time, and it's definitely a lot to take in. I might go back to it after I finish off the games I'm playing right now for a while. We are an ultimate or harder. Well, that won't be too hard. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to play the main game and then just do side quests on my own time and not pay too much attention to them. Like, there's a lot of world building, but like... You don't really need to pay attention to too much of it as long as you're paying attention to, like, the main quest lines. The extra stuff's there if you want it. What is this ska? Kablam music. like loop on music almost with, with techno song voice in it oh I didn't hit both I didn't know that was a double
Either Lupin or Toku, yeah. Barely missed the triple S on that one. I don't think I've got I haven't gotten a single triple S all night here, have I? Two mine pluses, nice. And a power plus, oh cool. I'm gonna finish grinding uh Chocobo. Well not really, because he's not gonna get full pa power. Oh, mine plus a spirit. Never mind. Spirit has to do with summon, so it's probably best to give it, uh, to these two, uh, Yuna. Chrono Trigger play that I've been watching is now the post-resurrection side quest. Currently working on the mansion haunted by Glenn that needs to be rebuilt. I thought that one was a lot more complicated than it actually was. I remember watching Vinny play it a few years ago, and I was like, oh wow, this was actually a lot, uh, you meant Cyrus, so, yeah. It was, it's actually a lot quicker than it seems. Like, I thought you had to go back and forth between a tra time travel, like, six times, but I think it's only, like, once or twice, really, to get everything. Bring Magus with you, or Mage. I say Magus. I think it's Magus. Bring him with you during that quest. You get unique dialogue, I think. Just wants to get the tools, and maybe a second time to give them back. Yeah, but you need to do the thing where you repair the, the floors, because that doesn't happen all at once. Exponential entropy. I can't remember if I've unlocked this song or not. I tend not to play the music from the series I didn't do already in this, so. I was trying not to play too many of the 14 songs. But I've played Ink Long Dry like like 10 times. I don't know why. I just keep going back to that song because it's so weird. I'm gonna need a completely different team to do this, the mission here. Because it requires uh, elemental exploitation, which I can't really do with my current team. Oh, never mind, I did it. I guess I did enough slashing damage to slashing weak enemies.
I still feel sore after yesterday's trip to school. The song reminds you of pop and music. More like poop and music. I'm not I'm not hating on pop and music. Pop and music's good. And when I streamed Beat Mania, like was that two or three years ago? I can't even remember anymore. I think that was uh I think that was in 2020. I would do a 2D extreme, but there's no way I can play that on a keyboard on like a regular keyboard. Love pop music. Yeah, soon the ye old song, yeah. Defeat Alexander. Why is Sean Toto still not leveled up? Played at a Furcon a few weeks ago. Nice. Um Furry Week in Atlanta last year, they had such a great game room. They had old arcade games and they had a ton of rhythm games. They had um they had they had a Taiko no Tatsuji machine, and I'm hoping it's there this year, because I want to play more than like one round on it. What am I doing? If they had if they somehow have a Final Fantasy uh, theater rhythm arcade, that would be amazing. They also had Project Diva, but I didn't know how to play that one. The, the, the one, the arcade Project Diva is weird because it's got that rhythm bar on it. I don't know how to use that. Selena and I broke the Sailor Moon machine. They had a Sailor Moon arcade beat him up and we froze the game. We, we, we beat the final boss while I think I, while one of us was reviving. And the game just soft locked and we just left it. <laughs> Wait, what's the mission here? Oh, I missed it. Oh, defeat Alexander. OBS's frame rates are getting fucky. Not easy to look at. And Alexander wiped. So I said, we broke it. We broke the Sailor Moon game. It's an arcade machine with sexy Parodius on it. Wish there was any other Parodius game. <laughs> I keep forgetting sexy Parodius is a thing. What? How? 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 How have you not leveled up the Star 1 yet? Why is Shantoto leveling up so slowly? Get 70% or higher Rainbow Judgment triggers. Triggers move really slow. This does not sound like a slow song. These triggers are going to be so close together. It's going to hurt. This is probably worse than them moving fast. Rise. I think this is one of the two DX songs. The, the live version of this song. Not live, but the band version of it. B A N D, not B A N N E D.
Oh, this is drawing me up way too hard. I'm, I'm gonna have to, that one's gonna be one I have to do offline. I think it's slow triggers because of story shenanigans with Alexander's Raid. Yeah, probably. I am at, the, all, all the special rules usually have a, a like a, a story based reason on it. But, uh, that's one that I'm definitely gonna have to go back to and just, because that's a skill, that's a skill issue one. It's a mind plus. Oh, it's another mind. I don't need a mind plus. We're fine. Triumph, defeat the boss within 25 seconds. As long as it doesn't cast an ability on me, that should be very well doable. 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 Okay, no one has below a C in anything. Feasible, even. Yeah. It ain't like those no-crabs diets. It's a no-carb diet. Yeah, see, but I got crabs, so I don't qualify. Really want to throw these summon stones out, but I don't know if the bug is still in the game that could corrupt your save if you do that. Allies deal half physical damage. Well, that will not be a problem for us. How do you have so many weird summon tweaks? Well, you just get the summons over by... You just get them. They're just items that you could find. Plus, anytime you exchange a profi card with someone, whatever summon they have equipped uh, gets gets sent to you. So you could just pile them on. But, like, the weaker versions of it, I really don't need, and there's no reason to keep them. You, you don't get any... Well, you don't get anything for keeping them, you don't get anything for throwing them out, so... There's no reason to hold on to them, but I'm like, I'm worried because there's a bug regarding throwing them out, and I don't know if it was patched. And it could apparently erase your save. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. That was all, uh, great. I'm not dealing with that. Oh man, I wish Love Burb let me see the other endings. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm like actually kind of bummed over that. Oh, come on with this shit. Why, why am I not getting rainbows there? Yeah, I'm kind of bummed over that. Like, I, I, it was a great game. I love it, and I definitely think getting the other endings could be quicker if you just blast through a single bird. But if I had known that was how the game was meant to be done, I probably would have just done one like per stream.
I like how Odin's nice enough to stay on screen until the next enemy show up. Anyway, yeah, we obliterated that boss in less than five seconds. Nice! One last kill at the very end. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, again, it's it kind of sucks because I did all the work, and now I have to do all the work again multiple times. Well, not all the work, but I have to do some of the work to get the other endings. I might just do I might just do Dorian's ending on my own. I don't really care that much about the other endings. I would have said pick the lewd bird. Yeah, exactly. That's the one I was going to pick, and I thought I'd just have the opportunity to go back. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, um, uh, Rousseau is, is the canon ending. It's the ending you're supposed to get. Defeat Shinryu. I just did that. The Worm's Tail. Boss enemies have double HP. So that's seven songs to go here, and then we have two bonus songs. And the, and the EMS afterwards. It's almost 3.30 as well, so... Wow, the stream actually went uh, as long as I thought it would to get this done. Worked out perfectly, honestly. This is probably going close to 4. So, uh, so sad to say. Partially because I started so late. damage from on poison. Stoned. Such a huge damper on killing bosses. Wow, how'd I fuck that up? Can't be the end, can it? I guess it is. I was gonna say, there's still quite a little bit of that bar left down there.
Sorry, just checking something. Oh, I got triple S on it, wow. Complete. Wayward Daughter and Sunrise. I got some harsh triggers here. We got some harsh browns going on in the triggers. Yeah, I started a little late tonight because I had stuff going on. I rec Like I said, I was recording some stuff too. Um, the reason I don't start early on Wednesdays is because I'm watching uh, at 11 p.m. on Sci-Fi. They're airing the 2019 Twilight Zone episodes that uh, Jordan Peele directed. And um, they're not very good. I don't know why I'm still watching it. I just kind of want to, like, I just want to kind of see if, the, if there's anything good in there. And there, there's a couple of good episodes, but... Definitely Peele's, uh, one of Peele's weaker works there. I love the guy. Don't worry, don't don't get me wrong. I love his comedy and I love his his storytelling and his uh like his horror thriller tendency or skill. I don't know how to I don't know how to word it. But most of the Twilight Zone reboot feels falls flat. Gotta go to the shop. You need to fill up your fridge. Okay, Toxie. Thank you for stopping by. Don't step in garbage out there. I know it's been dirty. Out there lately. Probably the first one was really decent. There's a couple of good episodes that I liked, and some interesting ones. But some of them just fell really flat. Tonight's- the one I watched tonight was terrible. It was almost comically bad. It'll be hard to top the OG episodes. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Nothing. Nothing tops OG Twilight Zone. I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily Jordan Peele's fault that these new ones aren't that good. Again, new, it's tw they're from 2019. They're just airing on sci-fi now. They're not they're not the worst thing out there. They're just not that good. Some of the episodes are decent, some have good premises, some are just really, really dumb. And I'm assuming that's not necessarily Jordan Peele's decision. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Again, I respect the man and his and his work immensely. That's just my opinion of, of what I've seen. Hey Emma, how you doing? Also, hello Petite. Uh, Petite, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Episodes of um, oh uh, Twilight Zone. The new the there's a newer version of Twilight Zone from uh, 2019. How's the game going? Pretty good. Uh, I'm almost done with FF14, and then I'm gonna be stopping. No, 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 not yet. Sunrise. Defeat nine or more enemies. Speed plus. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I've been streaming almost three hours. Wow. Again, I thought this was going to be a shorter stream tonight. Ended up not being one. But I also took that break to... Fix the laundry. Work my way through ultimate, but I'm struggling big time as the triggers all together make you lose your focus too quickly. Yeah, I definitely get that problem where my brain just shuts off in the middle of 
speed charts. But I'm also kind of a rhythm game vet. Not really. Very, very specific rhythm games, and this one kind of just falls into that wheelhouse of ability that I'm like, okay at. Do you know about crunching directionals? Like, just pressing up instead of diagonal, because that works. Like, I'm just pressing up here instead of up left. Also, I'm sorry, I can't really read the chat while I'm doing this. That quest is 32 song. Yeah, I'm pretty new to rhythm games, so that probably plays a part. It's the only rhythm game you enjoy. I played guitar here in the dance games. That was many years ago. Up, down, left, right also work for diagonals, yes. Hard to remember when you have to focus on what you see, yeah. It's a lot of, um... A lot of just committing it. A lot of just making it a reflex over time. Um... I've also very much quickly got used to having to hit the, the ZL and ZR buttons for the triggers. Because that helps out immensely when your thumbs are on the sticks. Power through basic and expert, no problem. The other two difficulties are stressing you out. Yeah. Again, there's a there's a huge yeah there's a huge difficulty spike going from expert to ultimate. I I will not lie, expert is so easy compared to everything else. Supreme, I'm not even bothering with. Supreme is too much even for me in most cases. They need a lot more practice. Uh, to be fair, also, I have put a lot of hours into this game. Right now, I'm on, like, hour 65, I think. And that's still not a lot. People put, like, 120 into this. Defeat the boss without dealing fire damage. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I don't have any fire attacks equipped. What angel wakes me? This song sounds silly. Again, I'm still in a realm reborn, so all this, most of this music, I have not heard before. Raising the quest of the moment, play days and the single music songs. Yeah, I started doing quests uh, tonight. Also, thank you for the follow, Emma. I started doing quests as soon as I was uh, I was able to get a good team going the other night, and I finished about six or seven games so far. No, eight. I finished eight. Oh, and I fucked that one up, too. Oh, no. Taking the mother of all omelets, Jack. Can't fret over every egg.
Shock Total. Take her out. There we go. Boobs. Wish my friend Boob was here right now. She would have got. She would have liked tonight's stream because she loves fourteen. Took a breather from the game yesterday, but got back on it today. Hopefully, don't let it annoy me too much. I'll get there. Games are supposed to be fun, not stressful. Yeah, I definitely felt a little salty last night when I was trying to uh, get the quest to beat Neo X Death in less than twenty seconds because he kept casting stone at the beginning of each time he appears. And I was just like, I, how do I do this? I need to change my party up, but it's not working. Oh, that was a cute costume. Mostly playing a party thief-oriented. Oh, nice. It's good for grinding out those items, at least. Come and play, for the night is bright and you could sleep when you're dead. 66 quests complete. Some I still can't do yet, because they're on the field stages, yeah. Who brings shadow? Clear without taking any enemy dan attacks. Okay, so I gotta do this perfectly. Keep this equipped because we got a ton of these. This is probably one I'm going to have to revisit. Again, I'm not going for perfect quests on stream, especially since that would require me to go back and revisit like almost everything I've done. And I've been streaming this. This is I've been playing this for 14 streams now, <laughs> not counting time spent off stream. Next stream of this is going to be the last one for the base game, and then uh, I'll be coming back when more DLC comes out. Which, if I stream Saturday, I'm probably going to finish it Saturday. My weakness is definitely hitting them too early. You could tell that like anyone that I don't get a rainbow crit on is, is an early hit because of the red mark to the left of it. Which I don't know why that's not on by default. I don't know why you had to turn that on. Fucked up. Oh, here we go. Rising Hole. Got the Shadowbringers theme. By the way, when I finally go back to 14, it's not going to play that anymore on the title screen because I bought Endwalker when it was half off. So we won't actually be hearing that again until I actually get the Shadowbringers. I can't believe I fucked up one note. That sucks.
Oh lord, this is a long one. And again, why couldn't Dancing Mad get a full loop? But we got these songs, like, completely in. Damn, wow, I really only got hit once. That sucks. It's so good. Did band rise over 300 times, only doing Ultimate Quest. When the triggers are all crammed together, I'm like, how many fingers does this game think I have? Yeah. I mean, there's some that require all four at once, which uh, I didn't know about. I hate that when that happens. It's starting to give me pretty good intent on getting perfect chains, yeah. And curse and swear like a sailor when you don't. Well done. Thank you. There's a better quest somewhere wise, but experience wise, but basic band rise gives you about 3,000 EXP per run. So max 9 and 9 with a gold egg, but it's like three and a half minutes, yeah. So much. Okay, I need to I need to hoof it here because it's almost 4 a.m. Uh, and we need to finish this. We got what three more songs? Oh no, we got two more. And then I got the band songs. Here we go. That's the one everyone's been waiting for. 90% or higher. Good judgment. You'll be hearing this one twice. Sort of. I you you know why? Because I played I played band. A long fall before when I, when I first got started the game and I fucked it up because I couldn't beat it on ultimate back when I was bad at this game. Of course, this is the second to last song in the game. Grinding collected cards and items in the, with the game muted because fighting for freedom eight times in a row. Sound makes you want to sleep. This game isn't that hard to play without the actual music. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, you can just play by the uh, notes alone. Alright, one more to go in this map. Promises to keep. Deal 11,500 more. Oh, that's extremely easy. This looks like the end of uh, PSO Episode 1. Where you fight Dark Falls on the uh, on the sigil. Never beat that game on Ultimate. Even though I got to, like, Ultimate levels in it.
and start to lose power. But I did it. I did it. Only got an S, though. Try to do a band riser. Come boring without music. Yeah. Chocobo strong. Chocobo strong for me because I buffed him to max stats. He's also very good in, e in EMSs because he doubles your travel speed, so it's easier to fight. It's easier to get to enemies during it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Answers! So that leaves just the theater rhythm section left. And I am 67% done with the quests. But we are max stat. I wait nine stars for that, yeah. So we are not done yet. We have the EMS to go through, and then two more songs. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Shut off the opening or Realm Reborn on stream. Next time I play 14, I'll do that. Because I only showed the basic 14 opening. Again, EMS is very easy, high scores on those. I should find a Supreme EMS to get the 9.8 million on, so I can get that feat. Alright, so we're done. Except, kinda not really. We got a little... Oh, I forgot about that. We got two more on the in the DX version for 14. We got the band rise and band along fall. 
And, uh, Rise is okay. But a Long Fall is the one where it's like, oh god. I put a little more pomp on this, but it's, it's three minutes to four at this point. So it's gonna be like 4.10 when I stop the stream. I still have to go down and put the last little laundry in the dryer. Yeah, these these band versions have weird, weird like interesting visual effects on them too. Fucked that up at the end. Not bad. I haven't played that one a ton. As you could see, that that was a good that was a high score for me. So yeah, I have not had a lot of experience with that one. And the final fourteen song is a long fall band version. This is the this is the pinnacle right here. This one is long, difficult, and full of memes if you play it on Supreme. Though there's a couple on the other difficulties too. This is this is the send-off for 14 in this game right here. Even though this is only in the DX <laughs> the DX download.
So right here on Supreme, it would do the, the notes to the, the dance from the live performance of the show, of the song, rather. I was done at the Fan Fest in 2021. Barely beat it, but I did it. That is not a song I could beat consistently. That was even my best run of it. I only got four misses, though. That was not too bad. But the speed plus is not bad. Whew. And there we go. That's, uh, that's all of Final Fantasy XIV and Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. Again, very, very cool that it synced up to be part 14 of the stream. So, we have one more stream of this left. We're going to do the Theater Rhythm section, and then we're going to do the post-game for a little bit. And that should be it. And then what it'll be is uh, every two DLC packs from this point on. I'll probably do another stream. I might, do, I might actually do... I don't know yet. I might do short ones. I may do... Like the actual, I may wait till more show up because again, it's only gonna be 55 more songs through DLC. But uh, yeah, got a little bit more of this game to go. We've been making great progress in it. Very happy with how I'm performing in it. Not a single uh, ultimate under S so far. So yeah, that's that's gonna be it for tonight. Yeah, thank you for coming. I know this one went long because I started late. But thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitchtv team wildabandon uh, I may raid someone, just because we got some people here. I will be back tomorrow with Metroid Prime. I'll probably be not- probably won't be here Friday. And then I may be here Saturday to finish up this. Also, the Sonic Frontiers DLC, the first update for that came out, and I'm not sure if I want to stream it. It looks like it might be a little more than I thought it would- thought it was, so maybe I will. I don't know just yet. Let's see, what are other people streaming here? Papa Bray is streaming like a dragon Ishin. So let's let's throw them a uh let's throw them a raid. But yeah, thank you so much for coming, as always. I really appreciate it. Love having everyone here. It's, it's such a fun fun time for everyone. Including me, mostly. <laughs> but yeah, really. I mean it. I mean it. It's 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 great, and I I know I get tongue tied often, but it, it absolutely means a lot to me. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching Love Burb. Uh, and yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Stick around and say hi to Papa Bray, and have a great evening. Good night.